Mozambique. Not even the early morning drizzle could kill the atmosphere of the day as Uganda marked 51 years ever since the British Union Jack was lowered. By 12 p.m., President Yuweri Museveni and his Mozambican counterpart, President Amadou Gwagbuza, had arrived at the venue and the latter was the only foreign head of state of that graced the function. As the habit is, President Museveni began by inspecting the guard of honor and then inspected different command parades. The 51st anniversary of Uganda's independence are being held. Yeah, the people are cheering. The president is inspecting the guard of honor, mounted by, by the army, police. The president would then award over 220 people with medals in classes of Nalubare Medal, the most excellent owner of the Pearl of African Medal, plus the 50th Independence Anniversary Medal. President Amado Guebuza from Mozambique was the only one who got the most excellent owner of the Pearl of Africa Medal, while several other former leaders, clergymen and teachers in Rukunjiri got the rest of the other medals. President Amadou Gwabuza held Uganda for contributing to the liberation of Africa, singling out President Uweri Museveni and a group of other Ugandans for showing interest in the liberation of Mozambique and the dignity of Africa. At the times in history, you had to face a multivariate set of challenges, but as a heroic and enterprising people, you have over and over again risen up to face those challenges with resolute action, determination and vision to remain one people. President Museveni had initially limited himself to matters of the economy but quickly turned his attention to the issue of the teacher's demand for a 20% salary increment rescinding his earlier commitment to provide the money this month. When the teachers were demanding for a pay rise of 300 and other public servants for a pay rise of 326 billion shillings. It's not that we didn't have it. We have it. But we have got so many things to do. So many things to do, and we cannot do all of them at the same time. The president haunted the teachers by telling them that the 140 billion shillings required for their pay rise this financial year is actually available, but has other urgent and major severe sectors it is being allocated to, saying this has always been his stand on the matter. Don't think that we don't have money. We have money because we have put 2,300 billion in the roads for this year. It's not that there are no jobs. The jobs are there, but the children are qualified in subjects which you don't have is a market. And yet, there are big gaps. We, we've got a shortage of, of, of doctors. Former Forum for Democratic Change Party President Dr. Kiza Besije, compiled Mayor Riasul Kwago, Kaempe Mayor Mbak Mnyagwa, and FC Women League head Ingrid Trinawe also attended. And like in the past, where opposition politicians have shunned such events. President Museveni said Uganda still has three big challenges that are impending its development, pointing out a global commercialization of agriculture, job creation and value addition.